Hey, hey, what's up, guys? This is Andy. This is another Space Force episode. We're about to take on Memphis. Uh, at Memphis, who shouldn't have D'Angelo Williams anymore. Let's check on that, though. Let's pre-scout Memphis. We just came off a pretty good win against... Uh, okay, UTEP smashed us. Who was it? I'm blanking at the moment. No, no, we lost UTEP. Actually, close one. Cl UTEP was close. SMU. That was a good one. Smith coming up with that. Oh, I see, you know, Smith came up with that big pick at the end. This is the thing I wanted to look at. I kind of forgot to look. I was going to look before the. Uh, I was going to look before the game before I started recording and stuff. But actually, I want to see who Smith is and what kind of recruit he was because I don't remember. I honestly can't tell. I feel like he's a walk on. Because he's a true freshman, but he's only got 82 speed. So I feel like he had to have been a walk-on. Well, let's look real quick. Smith, Smith, Smith. Okay, I think, let's see. All right, we're kind of at the spot on the video. That's nice. I was looking up before. Hail. Okay, so everybody was a two-star except for G. Neal, tight end. I believe I moved him to guard or tackle. There he is, Greg Neal. So then Smith was a walk-on. Really not that bad for a walk-on. He has pretty similar physical traits to Macklin. 78 speed is a little bit faster. He moves a little bit better. Catches worse, tackles way worse, jump is better. So he's a Macklin, <laughs> he's a Macklin protege. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty good for a walk-on though. Oh, okay, his overall is only 52. And his awareness is just awful. It's funny that going from corner to linebacker, he doesn't take that big of a hit. What is he, like a 40? He only loses 12 points. Yeah. Anyway, oh, we're gonna pre-scout. Memphis, let's do that. I may have looked at him already last stream, so not sure. Hankins, yep, no, uh, no D'Angelo Williams. That's good for us. This guy looks pretty good, though. I mean, because my D's not that good, the impact QBs have been giving me a hard time so far. Not really any speed out here. Got, got some height though. Six foot eight. Who are these guys? Six two, six five, six eight, six four. Uh, we're about to get dwarfed. I hope we can bat down some passes. Yikes. O-line's pretty good. That's decent. Oh, here we go. The linebackers. They might give us trouble. Now, hopefully, let's look at the depth chart. Hopefully, we because we run a lot of three and four wide, maybe we won't see both of these guys on the field at the same time. Outside, outside. So, hopefully, that's the case. Corner, not a lot going on at corner. In fact, not good at all at corner. They fall off pretty hard, pretty quickly. Safety is okay. This guy's a little slow. So are our receivers, though, outside of Bailey. So we're going to do it. Memphis, they're C plus. They're coming to Space Force, which means we could have a, a visit. I don't know. Okay, we do have visits. We have this guy. He doesn't care about academics, but we go with that because that's our best selling point. This guy actually could be a, an academics uh, pitch guy. We need him to cut down to three, though, so we can invite him for a visit. If he doesn't go to USC. He says his unofficial visit to USC didn't go well. That's good for us. Let's get into this game. Also, I realized that it makes me kind of sad. I realized that uh, I failed to customize all the uniforms prior to starting this, so we don't have any alternate uniforms. That is kind of sad. But also, I feel like Space Force wouldn't budget for nicer uniforms. Can we get on TV? Nope. I just want to see Corso put on the uh, the Spaceman helmet. They're kicking. Oh, that's bad. Coach Bop, where are you? That's bad. Getting ball first. Don't care for this. 
will be kicking off to start the game. <clears throat> but so it's super imperative we get on the board. Even though we decided it's not a game winner to uh, it's not a game winner to get a score and get momentum first. You still want it. So that is unfortunate. The Alex Hayes welcome. How's it going? Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Apologies if you plan on lurking and did not anticipate being called out. So we'll speak of it no more, lest you uh, type something in chat. Bailey, get that. Nice. Okay, we have an advantage over these corners, especially with Bailey. These corners aren't that good. Also, I threw a pretty gnarly pick uh, a few games ago on a comeback. I didn't wait long enough. In watching on replay, I complained about it at the time as being perfect coverage. I think I didn't wait for him to come back. I threw it while they were still in this downfield. See, they're, he's trailing him for a bit. And then he comes back. Nice route. Look at that. Slants. I didn't mean to call that. I thought this was X dig. So we're going to want to... Uh, actually, we could go hail here. Yeah, let's just go hail. Let's focus on some snap count, too. We had such great luck with that last game. Getting jumps and avoiding great jumps, too. So uh, Didn't go anywhere with that. No flag, either. Hmm. Okay, a bit of a waste of a play. It's okay, though. Let's come out and option pass and see what, the, see what it looks like. Okay, they got both top linebackers out there. Yikes. Let's actually go with Memphis. And so here it's going to be a read on man versus zone, which is kind of hard to do so quickly. They're blitzing. Look at the way they're aligned. Pretty sure they're coming in with some heat. Oh, oh, man. Okay, we got the flag. That's too bad, though. He had room to run. Bad animation here. He's got a ways to run. Look at this. I don't know what he's doing. I guess I could have just thrown it because I did go for that user uh, the user control there. Second and seven. Okay, here we have a drag possibility. It would be really nice if we could get some stuff on these corners. Look, look at the red. Look at the matchup. Bailey against that corner. Pretty advantageous for us. So now we're going to look at this left linebacker. If he blitzes, probably going to... Oh, he doesn't. There we go. Get that. Offsides again, huh? Okay, we'll take it. We'll for sure take that. So I was looking for this guy to blitz so I could go quickly to hail. He didn't blitz, though. Okay, this is excellent. Let's go back to option pass. Let's keep calling this. Let's see if we can get into a favorable alignment. 5-2. Okay, we can actually run with Bobby Johnson here. So I think we're going to try to do that. Let's try. Oh, got a jump. Nice. Oh, he almost, oh, dang it. Dude, they're off sides again. We'll keep taking it. Uh, you know what? We'll actually take the first down. I gained a first, so let's keep that. We'll spec a momentum for that. I'm not sure we get that momentum on a penalty. We might. I just don't know. P. Reed kind of forgot about this. Let's call it. Kind of with the intent to run. They're in a dime, so that's really good. Also, I love their linebackers on uh, as as DNs. That's very nice for me. Let's see how well they get off a block, though. I really don't know. This might not go well for me. I, I really don't know. Like, as far as them getting off a block. Okay, here we go. Ah, it didn't go well. He got right off there. Okay, so now we know. There's also, I've been trying to pay attention as to whether... And With, like what what the differences are in behavior on the O linemen when they're so bad. Look how bad my O linemen are. So it kind of looks like they may. Uh, I did not mean to call that. Can we get something else? I don't know if we can audible too quickly. Five, four. So we actually have this. We're actually okay. Oh, not really. Oh gosh, let's just hoof it out a little bit. I could have gone Bailey. I just a little incredulous though. And here I'm actually kind of I kind of have eyes on Phillips a little bit, but I've gotten myself in trouble thrown over the middle a few times. Not too big on that. Here we're at the 50. Let's see what we can get with drive. Let's just see how the alignment looks too. Okay, they're bunched up. So here we want a hard look at Hale. This is kind of our normal read, a hard look at Hale, because a lot of times he'll go out there on his own. There's nobody there. 
And then we kind of hold on for Bailey. Oh, oh no. I screwed that up. I ran him too far out. Or I did it too early, one of the two. Oh, darn it. Yeah, let's go ahead and punt. Dang it. I think that was a good read otherwise. So we do actually we have Bailey coming across. But these both look good. These are actually both really good. Especially if I can execute the user catch properly. That's really good. He did. He did. Yep. Yep. Uh, to me, they're both good reads, though. If I can get that, if I can execute that uh, user catch, or the user catch, yeah, if I can execute that better, then that's a better play. Oh, goodness, that's awful punt. Wow, no flag, thankfully. Look how my guy reads right next to him. I would think they call a flag for that, but they didn't, so that's good. So let's see. I kind of want to go, they're five wide. I kind of want to start out with, with uh, the QB at corner instead of oh, where are we at instead of Bailey so let's do that angle down I th see I thought I did but clearly not enough they'll take over at the 26 yard line first and ten. here okay we'll go with cover ah oh, darn it okay hold on hold on I don't know what my audibles are let's set those I keep forgetting to set them in the uh, in the game management you know outside this Cover two, cover three, and then we'll do crash. Yeah, welcome, Coach Bob. How's Friday going, man? Hopefully it's good. Okay, cover three. Lester, we'll use our Newton since he has to be deep. We just want to get him back here. We don't want him getting burned. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh we had some possibilities there. Mostly good. That's good. Second and ten. I'm glad to hear it. They're balanced. Let's go cover two. We'll fan line and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we got him. I I, bat, I, I dove way too early. I got a little spooked because he broke this initial tackle. I want to go for a dive because they don't block, they don't break dive tackles that well, but probably don't need to go so crazy on dive tackles. Oh, another thing I'd like to do. I do want to get that blitz in there. Let's put it on L. It's that safety linebacker combo blitz here. Or oh, actually this. Ah, no, I like the safety blitz better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's, I like the safety. I feel like that's better against the run. Can we Can we flip this? You can't, okay, you can't flip it. Oh, I think I erased it. Looks like you can't flip it uh, for uh, audible purposes. Yeah, you can't flip it. Okay. Ooh, it is halfback pass, so let's get up here. We'll just go ahead and take it. Okay. And if you're curious, you can see when you're in man and they call that, you can see the uh, the little man coverage line. It goes to the QB, which is usually you don't have that. Oh, nice. I'm kind of lucky he hasn't thrown far downfield yet. Our near uh, coverage is not that bad. Oh, is this the 6'8 guy? They have a dude that's 6'8 receiver. That might be him. See, they had, they had, yeah, this guy's kind of open. I mean, they could throw at me, I guess, is what I mean. Third and 11. Let's go. Looking good. Third and hmm, what do I want to do here? On the 41 yard line. I'm kind of feeling cover two still. Scares me a bit. Ah, dang it. Yep, I kind of bit over to the receiver side. That's too bad. Just like that, we lost momentum. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Okay, we'll go back to cover two again. Oh, my gosh. Just couldn't get over there quickly enough. Nice pass. I mean, it's a really good pass. Right over top, just perfect amount of zip to where I can't react to it that well. Yeah, it, it's funny, it, in the coronavirus dynasty, 
dot QBs were really hit and miss as far as if they beat me up well or not. But uh, let's go cover three actually. Okay. Oh no! Gosh darn it! Get out there, somebody! Oof. In this dynasty, it's they've been tearing me up. All right, familiar territory. Oh, let's get. Uh, let's go ahead and get. Uh, we'll get Bailey out of there for kickoff returns. Also, maybe I need to let Newton rock on cover three. We'll let that go on a cover three deep zone. Call Memphis. Let's just see what we get, though. Stack in the box. Okay, they're doing the, the down lineman linebackers, though. That's really nice. I think we'll go ahead and run this. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. Let's just get rid of it. Really know where to go. They break off the off the blocks. So I could have gone Hale like early or Bobby Johnson. They're actually both kind of open. So I need to, if they're if that's what they're running, I need to uh, be a little more patient and not run out so quickly. Second and ten. Okay, I want to go Bailey here. And this is where I've had really bad luck trying to isolate Bailey on the far side. Oh my gosh, freaking out of bounds. I didn't precision it. I don't understand. I've been I know I'm sorry. I probably complain about that way too much. I don't understand what's going on there though. So, here let's can we get like tight end wide. Tight end slot. There we go. So, let's do this LB attack. So, here if Phillips gets wide, wide, wide open, I can go to him. This kind of looks like man, though. I'm not really sure what this is, though. Not really sure. This might just be a rollout Chuck to Bailey, anyway. Yeah, it's zone. <sighs> Out of bounds. And I precision pass inbounds, too. But also, I kind of have to run him. Dude, he almost picked that. I like how my guy just stops, too. And then, yeah, the cut. The, the, it would have to be just so open for me to go to Phillips here. It would have to be so open. It's just not. It's not going to happen that often. I just wanted to give myself the option in case. Fourth and ten. So they're running a lot of zone. What did they do there? Let's have a look. So they didn't blitz. But my offensive line is not holding up that well at all to them. Go down just a little bit. Okay, let's get somebody over there. Nice fair catch. Okay, we'll take that. 27-yard punt, fair catch made at the 47-yard line. The Memphis Tigers take over at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Yeah, let's go cover three. This is a little frightening here. Ah, oh, goodness. No, come on. Nobody home. Hmm, frustrating. Loop around. Yeah, this guy's really getting us good. So actually, I think I might run a similar deal and try to key on play action. Any kind of play action look. Five wide. Okay, they're not play action here. This is a good one time for me to build a lurk one, though, potentially. Let's get out more of the sideline because I lack speed. I have to get over here a little more quickly. Oh, Mac. Okay, we had to try it. I had to try it. Too good of a pass, though. Dude, this QB is really lighting us up badly. Okay, let's actually let this go. Let's move the secondary back, actually. Okay. Ugh. Number 33 on the run. Gain of eight. So we can try to flip it up here. We can try to mix it up. Let's go cover three. Let's actually go cover four. And then we'll audible to the blitz. Monster green. Boom, okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, we got lucky there. He didn't even turn around. Super lucky. Burned. 
So they really called that against cover four. Let's call it again. I, I don't, I don't trust that they won't do this exact same thing again. So a monster. Let's actually take Newton. Oh, get out there, dude. Yikes. So they're calling passes against my cover four. Maybe the cover four is too inviting for near stuff. Maybe it's like, maybe they're actually calling plays that are good against cover four. So I may have to stick with cover three. But at any rate, we need to get, uh, we need scores. We need first downs. We need a score. Goodness, I got trucked. And also for another reason, we need to give them a shorter, or excuse me, a longer field to work with. Short fields are beating us up pretty good right now. Oh my gosh, of course, no end zone. Oh no, I'd rather get tackled. Okay. Uh, let's just open up with the screen. I think it's here. And actually, we do want tight end slot. Let's go normal. There we go. The Skyhawks. We'll stay tight in slot. The -yard line. First and ten. Oh, they're moved over. Yikes. We'll go with it. Oh, bad pass. Oh, here we go. A little loop around action. Oh, Bailey. Nice. We'll take it. It drew him in. This is something you can kind of do manually, too. If you catch it and then run inwards, they'll kind of all dart in, and then you can dart back out. And there it set up a block, too, because I don't think this block happens if I don't, if I don't run in some. So is this really a bad pass, or what's the deal? Not really. He just ran toward it. Let's actually check this out. P.A. Reed. Yeah. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-four. Okay, they're running some kind of three-three-five or something, right? We. I don't think we can run against this. Let's real quick. Let's just go Z post. Let's see how it shakes out. I don't know who's going to be where. Phillips, Bailey, we should be able to get this off. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, look at Bailey. Look at, oh, dude, it way too far. That's bad. Woo! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at the route. We got lucky there, but hey, Newton, for whatever reason, he does lob a nice deep ball. I don't understand how that works. We'll take it. So here, I guess I should have gone more sideline, but he chucks, I chuck it, I precision pass inbounds to the middle of the field because I don't want him to throw out of bounds because he's so darn open. That's nice. I mean, when you see this, you just have to go. Like, look at what I'm looking at with Bailey. Just, just watch. Wait, where's the zoom out? Yeah, just watch Bailey. It's like, boom, he has just crazy separation. I'm like, okay, I have to go there. He did. That was nice. Their corners aren't good. Big difference between this game and last game. Their corners are not good at all because I think uh, SMU, didn't they have an impact corner? I think they did. Their cor these guys' corners are not good. Like the top, the best one's like a 72 or something. Also another big difference their front seven is much better on defense. I have not had the opportunities to scramble. I think I've had one scramble. I was scrambling quite regularly against SMU. Also, another reason I think I can let Newton go at corner, even in a cover three, is that we do have Lester in the deep zone if it comes to that. And with him in the middle, he can always fly over. Oh, no. Okay, we've got the tackle at least. Scared me. Number 87 makes the catch. Gain of 24 on the play. Yeah, we got burned pretty good. I guess we might, might want to stick with cover three. Let's do this. Let's go cover three. Let's dial up a blitz. If they sit here for a moment, we'll call the blitz. Okay, they didn't. Oh, no. Get out there. Yes. Okay, only three. Let's do that again. Okay, it's on the L button. Actually, flip. 
Okay, they did it. Oh, we're blitzing. Okay, we're blitzing. Ah, darn it. Ah! I went for the dive. Okay, third down. So let's do this again. Cover three. Third and one. Ball on the 31 yard line. Passing. Oh no, get there. Oh! Close. So we actually had him if he doesn't break this tackle. But this is our walk on guy. Smith. Oh, it's Lester. Okay, he's Lester's very weak. His tackling's bad, so. No huge surprise there. Pretty nice coverage though. I'm actually impressed he got up there. Like how he follows him. He's right there to make a play. First and ten. Ball on the twenty seven yard line. Okay, here I think we have to stick with it. And we can potentially lurk with Macklin. It's just too good of a setup to not go for that. Oh my gosh, Macklin. See, there it is. And that sideline stuff. I don't know how you can guard it to where they won't throw it. They always throw it. Okay, we'll do it again here. Monster Green. Okay, we got the slot guy. Yes. Oh, nice job, Macklin. Look at this, third down. Okay, let's come out with like, yeah, double spy. I'm thinking we go cover three. They burn our cover two pretty well, so we're going to go cover three. And actually, I'm going to take take over here, Newton. So everybody move back a bit. There we go. Yes, get there, Newton. You're there. You're 6'5". Let's go. Got it. Dude, not bad keeping up with him. Also, he, like I said, he's six foot five, and he's got a little bit of jump to him. Okay. Nice D. Bright spot for the D so far. Got that stop. With the boot, okay. How's that look on momentum? Didn't gain much. That's good for us. That's great. Memphis is lined up for the kickoff. Okay, I might just want to go down here, actually. Let's go down. That was close to being a blow up. Those scare the heck out of me. Actually, we can go here. Where is it? Flood. There's something other than flood. Mesh. Mesh because it sends hail out. First and ten. Which is handy when they blitz. Right off the edge. Okay, we've got to be careful here. Three stand-up guys in the middle there. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Uh, let's get rid of it. Darn it. Could have gone to hail like here. Ah, even that's dicey. So I really didn't have anywhere to go. Their coverage was pretty good for that play in particular. Let's go back to the screen game. Second and ten. Ball nice. This is perfect. Their linebackers are down linemen. And also their... Uh, let's see what happens if I move you out. We can go with that. Darn it. Oh, no. No blocks. What happened here? I just didn't get a block on him. I wonder if having Hale out there messed it up. Third and 11. You know, I can't... Oh, we can try this. Let's try Mesh. Yeah, we got flipped. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Third and 11. So we have Bailey on a corner. Not ideal. This also looks like zone. More not ideal. If they blitz heavily, Fitch could get open. I don't know if I want to throw that, though, and risk a turnover down my own end like that. We'll just have to see here. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this might be in. Nope. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of options there. Didn't have a lot of time to throw. It's too bad it wasn't just not a little bit overthrown, because that was majorly an overthrow. So we're going to set him up with a close field again. We'll go sky punt. Fourth and 11. Only one gunner out there. I mean, we, you know, I, I might have to experiment with the abort kick in this situation. Because we'll have receivers. That's a better kick. I tried to strip it. Nope. See, they rush all these guys. Like, these guys come free. I might have to experiment with that. Could be worthwhile. 32-yard punt. Return for a gain of one yard. 
They'll start the drive at the 46 yard line. First and 10. Mm. Oh, we're there. Nice. <laughs> Look at Macklin guarding two guys. No, he's hurt. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, why do they have two guys running the same spot? Not sure what play that is. A little bizarre. So, who do we have? Two and 16. Who's number two? That's not good, though. All right, we might have to get Bailey out there. Number two, he has 72 speed, Ryan Hagen. Yeah, that's not going to fly. So let's get Bailey out there. Let's get Bailey at second, and we'll put uh, we'll put the we'll put Newton at the fourth corner. No, 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 third. Yeah, fourth. Okay, there we go. Okay, second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Let's see. Let's go back to cover. Let's actually go cover two. Let's see if we can bat one down. Oh, we're there. Nice. Even better, they didn't catch it. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go back to a blitz. We'll call a similar deal. We'll blitz. Oddball. Let's see. They're stacked up, so let's go cover three. I like cover three in this situation better. We have Newton. Oh, no. Darn it. And they got it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he caught it on the other side of the first. Gain of 10 on the what kind of routes were these? Is this like the switch? Where'd he even come from? Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. He wasn't even that open, but it was a super nice throw. He's open enough for that QB. First and ten. Ball on Two the quarters? Gosh darn it. So he'll be back for what? The, uh, we'll take the... Oh, come on. Perfect spiral falling away. Let's go cover three audible to a blitz. We had definitely luck with this against uh, against SMU. Let's do monster green. Okay. Goodness. Oh, kind of got some pressure there too. That's good. You see this running back? He goes to guard the uh, the DB, who's actually my quarterback. This guy just chooses to run by, no hit. A little too polite for my taste. We've got to get in there. First and ten. Ball on the Let's see. Yard line. Let's go cover. Well, you know, we'll go cover three against this. Oh, had to try. Oh, okay, we got lucky there. No first. Dude, Dune's been getting up. He had the one bat down. He's pretty close here. Just a little off. So he's actually not short. He's just off target. Go cover three again. Nice. Oh, we got lucky. He had room to run if he turns around. Kind of funny. He looks like he's going into a pass block or something. The pass falls incomplete. Three wide. Interesting. Uh, let's go here and then Third let's maybe go. Ball on the so they actually are in jumbo. I'm gonna call cover two here, and just hope that we can. Hope they. Hopefully they pass. Oh, we got there. Look at the penetration. Holy cow! What is this? He gets off the block. <laughs> this dude right here. Who is that? Wilson. What a play. Wow. That's awesome. Speed rush. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's worth it, man. For a field goal block, it takes so much micromanagement. I don't really think it's worth it. Do we have Newton out there? He's pretty fast. Yeah, I mean it's not a bad idea. It's just I have to do so many subs and keep track of so much junk. I'd rather save that for more high, uh, high intensity game situations. I do appreciate it though. I mean, it's a good idea. If there was some kind of package for that, that would be ideal. There's not though. Can 
kill. Call this one final time. I'm done calling it after this if they come up in a bad alignment. It's not good. Okay, linebackers are down, though. I kind of want to roll with this. Simply because the linebackers are uh, not in coverage. Unless they call zone blitz. Oh, okay. Flag? Flag me. Yes. Okay, good. I'm actually going to call that. I don't know. Is that dumb to call that again? We almost got open for that. They also, you know, it's pretty high potential there. Okay, so let's let's see here. Let's send Bailey on an out. So he's in the zone, so let's set up something where we can go to him. And I want to not precision pass, too. It's been like the bane of my existence. Oh, my God. That's no precision pass. That is just straight up 10 feet out of bounds. No precision. Are we on the right side now? Where are we? No, we're in the middle. Let's try this X dig. Now, this doesn't really, this is not really going to go to Bailey at all. It's pretty much Hale or maybe Phillips or Fitch. So if they blitz, I'd like them for them to blitz, I can go to Hale. Okay, they kind of do. There we go. That's nice. That's exactly what we want out of that play. Okay, now let's go for some left side cheese. Really haven't done any of that yet. Strong left. Oh, how's Macklin? Oh, Macklin's out two quarters. Okay. <laughs> We're near anyone. This is to uh, Fitch, by the way, in case you're wondering, in case you can't tell which of the two wide the hell open guys he's trying to throw to. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're near side. Let's go back to drive. Everybody's far back. So do we have the... You know what? We actually... Do we have the screen here? We don't. Okay, let's look at Hale. This is actually a great... So they showed their hand. They're going, man. Not even close. What's his accuracy right now? It can't be good. He's not hitting He's not hitting the backside of a barn right now. Uh, QB. Minus two. So he's not that bad off. He just can't hit anything. Might have to go Z post here. Uh, let's come out and option pass. We'll go Z post. Triple J, welcome. How's he that bad? So he is a walk-on. I'm thinking that's probably why. You know, let's go Z post. Yeah, we're going to key on Bailey here. We got that. Hops. Oh, let's go, Bailey. Speed. You're out of, you're out of position, bro. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Own that corner. That was, yeah. So, Triple J, welcome. I don't know if you've, have you, Kim, have you been here for Space Force edition yet? I don't know if you have. My QB is not good. But he's by far the best. Uh, yeah, that was, the timing was good. This is pretty, pretty clutch. And I'm having, re having really good luck because he throws it semi-bullet. And underthrows it a bit to where I can rocket catch, and then he just takes himself out of the play with that pick attempt. Okay, well I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, are you talking about why is he 80-80 or 80-82? So he's a true freshman walk-on, and his stats—the stats on walk-ons just aren't that good. And the guy, so this roster, I did the—I think cupcake, whatever the second worst is, and the quarterbacks I have are just not good at all. And they actually gave me this guy as a walk-on. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the they're terrible. I, he's usually not this bad. Because I've had games where I rely on that curl flats quite a bit, and he hits it consistent. Excuse me, he hits it consistently. So I don't know what his deal is right now. It has to have something to do with momentum. Oh, did see if he gained any back. Did he at least get back to level after that? Not. He's all still minus three. So he's still minus two accuracy. So I don't know. Yeah, some games are just like that. Also, he's not he's rated really lowly. You're, I feel like you're just going to get that sometimes. Some games you have it and some you don't, unfortunately. Let's go cover two here. 
I don't care for this too much. Uh, oh, look at Smith. Another pick. Another pick for Smith. Set him down. Dude, we got a chance. Look at him go. That guy's a walk-on too. Dude, walk-on power. Let him know, baby. Let him know. Oh, man. Dude, that's another clutch pick for that guy. Because he had the clutch pick last, uh, what, last game to allow us to go back and get the game-winning field goal. My goodness. Yeah, 13 to 14, it's true. Yeah, dude, it did not. Oh, we have a chance, especially the way it started. Yeah, 13 and 14, it's pretty normal. Isn't it for like uh, freshman ratings? Like what's a normal, like a, just an average freshman quarterback passer rating going to be? I feel like it's more like in the low 70s. And really anything like your your defensive traits, man coverage, zone coverage on corners. Yeah, well, it's true. It was 14 zip. We're trying to mount a comeback here. And we have momentum too. Yeah, but in, in, the, in the later versions, you're right. That stuff doesn't matter nearly as much. Or it's they don't start – they're not that bad. Like 80 probably really isn't that bad for like a true freshman. Right, let's see if we can get here. Oh no. Oh! Okay. I'll take the incompletion. Okay, and they got offsides. I was a little perturbed by that underthrown pass. We'll go mesh. We'll see if we can lob one in the end zone. Ball on the 18-yard line. Looks like zone. So I actually kind of want to flip this. Uh, we won't. We'll see if they blitz. Oh, you know what? Okay. If they blitz, we'll go to hail. If not, we'll try to run for it. We'll try to run for it. Nice. Very nice. Dude, he's feeling pretty slow right now. He's looking. Does he not look extra sluggish? Newton usually has a little bit more get up and go than that. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go here. Split and drag. Actually, let's flip it. That way I can go near side uh, swing pass. Okay, if these guys don't left blitz, I have to just go hail real quick. One of them. Yep, let's just go to him. Let's try juke. Okay, we got a couple yards there. I don't know. Was Bailey coming open? No, he was not. He definitely was not. Which formation is that? I'm, I'm down for anything. 10-yard line. It's a little bit too f near for a streak. Let's run this halfback wheel. This looks zony. I would love for a blitz and I can go hail. If they really clear out the middle, I could go Bailey, but that's still dicey. I don't like doing that. The inaccuracy, throw too many picks that way. Okay, they do blitz. They do blitz. Let's go. Drew them both. Oh, we tried. Nice. Yeah, they really sent the house. So, Bailey, not really open. This guy could have easily, right here, could have easily peeled off to defend a pass to Bailey there. Third and three. Right, let's go to Old Faithful. Old Faithful, I forget how many Old Faithfuls we have. We have too many. Let's go flat, uh, curl flats here. So, this is going to be a roll left on the off chance that I can actually just run it in. A pass would be good, too, though, because I could up uh, Newton's statistics, potentially. Actually, we'll go Bailey. All right. Oh, my gosh, that warp. Dude, my life flashed before my eyes right there. Did you look where this ball's going? He is about to hit the Memphis DB right in the numbers. <laughs> look at the warp. Look what, the, what does this look like to you? Just what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at this picture? <laughs> Probably not a touchdown. Certainly not for me, but we're, thankfully this guy doesn't make any move to come back to the ball. If he does, Bailey probably can't get that, but this guy just, he chooses to sit down right where he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lucky. Dude, the, that, right? That's probably why he was coming right at him. Why would he move? He does. That's probably why he was such a highly recruited Space Force cadet. They actually need him in space. He's not going to go to the pros. He's going to go as a pro astronaut. He's he's uh, going to be one of the main test pilots for the experimental uh, time and space bending aircraft. <laughs> Dude, hey, no, no divulging, 
No divulging space for secrets in chat, okay? Let's keep that to a minimum. <laughs> oh, I got clocked. There we go. Here's another little nuance. If you're ever in a situation where you're getting blocked and you just want to try to try to give yourself a chance at getting a guy that's coming right to you, if you just face the other way, they can't engage in a block, in a block with you. And here I got lucky, he just kind of ran right into me. So this is probably pretty useful, say, if you're guarding downfield, like if you're in a regular defense. And uh, say it's a breakaway run and you're kind of the last line of defense. You're better off facing your back toward the offense. That way they can't really block you. Or it's harder for them to do. But that is, man, the, the, the space-time continuum. There are rifts. There are little ripples in it. Yeah, I, I can see them. Okay, we'll go cover. Okay, dude, we are missing uh, Macklin Valley right now. There, oh, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> dude, that was Smith. Oh, and Lester's hurt. Freaking hell. But, dude, I'm pretty sure this is Smith getting his hands on it. Dude, that's our man. That is the freaking man of the hour. Two turnovers by Smith now. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what's going on. Everybody's hurt. We're getting inter we're getting interceptions. It's it's definitely not what we were used to. That's comedy. They'll take over at the 28 yard line. Uh, okay, is Newton just please? Okay, his overall is higher. Is he please give? Can we get his accuracy back? Okay, thank goodness his accuracy's back. Can't see if we can get here. Nope. Oh no. Oh bad, 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 bad. Okay, we got it off. Thank goodness. I was thinking about going left. This guy floats middle, so we can't go to Bailey. That was just all bad. Okay. He's probably back to minus now, though. I'm not going to keep checking this every fight. Plus four. Why would he get hit, Why would he get hit in the chin and he's plus four? He gained power and minus accuracy, and he gained awareness for getting bl blasted in the chin. I don't understand that. That also accurately can go under the heading of this game makes no sense, but I love it. Second and ten. Yeah, yeah, and it didn't help. He was the same, I think, or he was, you know, he was 82, 80, he was 80, 80, 82. These were the same. These were back to level. These were back to level. No, no, th he, I'm pretty sure I checked. You can check the tapes. I'm pretty sure after the touchdown, these were back to level, so it was 80, uh, 80 and 82. Yeah, and then he gets, yeah, he takes one. He takes a blaster to the clavicle and plus four awareness. All right, let's see what we get here. This play hasn't worked too great yet. Okay, that's not... Oh, yes! Dude, no dive. That's clutch. Usually he dives there. Nice pass. Maybe the... You know, maybe it kind of did some kind of voodoo on his head to get hit in the face. That's a really nice pass. And also really nice of Bailey, like I said, to not dive. So often on these drags that aren't perfectly on, they dive and you don't get any yak. Only in one deep. And that's what... Oh. What, uh... Which formation... That one, drive, that's probably the one you're thinking of. Ooh, I haven't run it yet. Let's go here. We have momentum. We can maybe run it. Yes, okay. This might be good. The drag, okay, yeah, gotcha. Okay, that linebacker's in the zone. Let's bring him up here. Let's see what we get. They shift down, so they're probably in kind of a man here. So let's run this guy out. We can maybe get some yardage with Hale here. Oh, yes. Get oh, no. Yeah, he just gets off too fast. Not viable, so we lost it down there. Second down, second and nine. Now let's do this. So we can send second Bailey on a streak nine. so I could tap it to him. Oh, what was the injury? I didn't see. Will return. That's good. We'll leave those guys out. I guess if we get desperate. I actually didn't know. Triple J, you might have known this, but Gobo's clued me, and you can force guys back into the game. If they're set on a timetable to return at some point, you can actually force them back in. I didn't know that. Okay, if that safety comes up, I'm tapping X. He doesn't. Okay, nobody. Ah, damn it. There we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go, Newton. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh, that was cool. My left tackle, I get him back over on the block because <laughs> I'm about to get hit if I keep going. It's so like, well, let's go back here, and we'll go back Jaw. We also got lucky that he shed the block fully to the other direction. If he sheds it the other way, I'm getting tackled for loss. That's funny. Couldn't quite finish it off, but that's okay. Uh, let's just go for a run. Yeah, let's go for a run. 
First and goal. Okay, okay. One yard line. Drag, it's a tight end drag. Or you might have been talking about. I mean, there's tight end drag. Is that, I think that's what it's called. Then the actual drag. Oh, he jumped. Yes, get in, Hale. Let's get in. Yes. That might be Hale's first touchdown rushing of the year. It might be. He has definitely more pass. Uh, ooh. Should I go for two? How much? So here's the thing. If they score a touchdown and go ahead. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm up seven. I'm up seven. Pardon me. I was thinking I was up six. I was thinking of that incorrectly. We could go for two and try to get a two-score game. But we don't need to chase points like that yet. It is. It's funny, too. I lost it now. It's weird because that guard, sometimes he pops out and sometimes he doesn't. Now, one frustrating thing is that, let's see, do they have a dot? I feel like that's a dot on the right, a little hard to see. One frustrating thing there is that that play typically is really good for run blocking. I don't know why it hasn't been as good. Oh, no, no, okay. If he breaks that tackle, he could be running away. Because look at this hole. Here, when I said, oh, no, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing all this. This just nice little swim lane right through there. And then, yeah. <laughs> Newton gets blocked. I'm out of position. And all those option runs, yeah, it's too bad that they pop out that way. Otherwise, they would consistently be great plays because it really just depends on which, which option read play it is. So we'll go here. See if we can lurk with Newton. That is supposedly one of the better ones, though, in my experience, but it hasn't been that reliable. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we're right there. We're right there. Oh. They're calling time. Okay, okay, they're calling timeouts. So I, this probably doesn't matter about gaming it. They're in five wide. Let's go cover three, and I guess we'll flip it so we have a DB on the sideline if I can get over there quickly enough. Okay. Okay, there's somebody there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's good. Third down. Ooh, ah, man, if I had better D linemen, I could try to jump the snap, but I just don't. It won't work. Let's go Storm Red. We'll, we'll audible out. We'll go cover three. Let's pinch in. Okay, we'll just have guard sideline here, kind of with Newton. Come my way. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Make a play. Oh, dude, we got lucky. Holy cow. B Bailey did not even turn. He didn't even try to do anything here. I'm like, I could have taken control, but here's t here's the thing. When I'm when he's passed, I don't like taking control because I usually overcorrect backwards and get, take myself out of the play because when you're in this situation, I mean, basically the basic premise that I'm talking about here is being in front is bad for pass defense. You want to be just barely behind. You want to be right on his tail because – if you're if you're past him, he'll just jump in front of you. Now here he ends up coming into good position, but then he doesn't do any hand motions, bat down or anything. Is it? Is it the six foot eight dude? He doesn't look that. He doesn't look that tall though. I think it was the bigger guy. They have another receiver that's really tall. I feel like it might be this guy. Wait, who is it? Let's see who it is. So we're gonna get the ball back. This is really nice. He's 89. Was it 87? Oh, okay, 87, 65, though. Okay, yeah, let's look. Yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just remembered the really tall guy dropping it. 65 has two drops. Yeah, you're right. And the 6'8 guy. So that doesn't even count as a drop. That was guy's number 89. I think it doesn't count as a drop because he didn't get his hands on it. It just hit his body, so I don't think that counts. Okay, so here we'll go straight block. We had we if they bunch in, we have a chance to get a return here. Lester, we'll take summer. Okay, they bunch in. Okay, remember last time I didn't do a good job of blocking. They had a guy. Okay, we actually need to bring him pretty far out. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, he didn't do a block out there. He just didn't block anyone. Because last time I had a great chance at a return. I guess I should have run left. I was just following my blocker though, but really there's room over here. And he doesn't really run to anyone. Nope. Nothing effective. It's okay. There were too many guys. It wouldn't have mattered. I didn't mean to call slants. I did too many button presses. This is kind of interesting. 
You know, let's actually move our man out, and he should just run sideline. You know, I don't know that for sure, though. I don't know that for sure. Here we can actually run. Let's see what that linebacker does. Uh, he ran to the side. Let's get there. Oh, yes. Okay, I would have liked to stay in bounds and run more, but it's okay. Nice pass. Newton is passing much better. Play it safe. Yeah, I'm not going to do, like, anything too crazy. Let's see. We'll bring it in. Actually, let's bring it in like this. First and ten. If it's man, we can lob one up to Bailey. Yeah, I don't want to do... I'm not going to go too nuts. See, if they blitz, I can go hail here. That would be pretty nice. Okay, they actually do. Yes. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay, minute left. Okay, we don't have to run her up quite yet. Pitch is in the zone. What a luxury. Go Memphis right here. Okay, if I, if I run this, I'm going to have to read what these linebackers do. If one goes into coverage, I have to go away. Okay, they kind of do, actually. Yikes, that was potentially dicey. Bobby Johnson was more open, but still not super open. That's okay. Let's go strong right. Or actually, receiver. Fl uh, tch -tch -tch. No, we'll go strong right. That puts Bailey in the slot on the sideline route. Third and two. <laughs> We're going Memphis against Memphis. I didn't even didn't even occur to me. I wouldn't mind the flag here. Get him to jump here. Okay, here we go. Get me Bailey. Yes. Ooh, look at that. If I turn up field a little more quickly, it could have been a lot bigger, but we'll still take that. That's really nice. Jay Nickel, I know it's uh, it's really not looking too bad. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Do we have that on a on the audible? I don't remember. We do not. We do not. It's okay. So here, I can actually look Fitch. There, it's in such a deep coverage. I might want to go Fitch. Yeah, let's go Fitch. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, let's see, we have all three timeouts, right? We'll call one. The calls a yeah, Bailey with the mills bunched up. We had the quick one to Fitch. If I'm more ambitious, I actually take control of Fitch and kind of how I do in Memphis and run the running backs out. I would have liked to run Fitch up field, but I didn't feel like... My ambition level wasn't nearly that high. So let's go here. It'd be nice to get Hale outside, running to the, toward the sideline, get out of bounds. This also isn't a terrible play for uh, Hurry Up either. Yeah, I've, only, I've been online for like... Here we go. Hail, look at this. Look, oh, you're right to turn around. That's oh, okay. We'll get the first. Uh, I think we'll actually... Yeah, we'll decline. That's too bad. He turned around in a funny direction. Oh, we could have set up a blocker too. It's like, dude, go block. Go block, but... Not everybody in NCA can be clairvoyant. He's trying to just run his pass route like a good little receiver should. So we can't blame him too much. Yeah, I think I've been online, what is it, 58 minutes. So I guess it's been like an hour. First and ten. Still so have two timeouts. Here we get Johnson going sideline if we get blocking. If it's man, they blitz. We'll go Bailey. It's actually... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't get it off. Damn it. Oh, no. Why, so here's the funny thing. Usually I'm throwing it away when I run like this, and he always gets it off. Why does he hold on there? I kind of want to just run more time now. I did. I, I used up his. I used up his uh, his his space warping device. Think so. All right. By the so let's do option pass audible Z post. Screen Z post. Yeah, either way. This this actually is pretty good for for running this play here. I'll uh, I'll send Bailey deep actually. Here we go. Phillips. Nice. 
Okay. I'm glad to get Phillips in the action. He actually, he's probably the second best player on the team to, uh, to Bailey. Thank you. So let's go here. Let's go angle. So if it's man, we can hit Bailey outside. If it's zone, we're going to want to wait on Bobby Johnson. Fitch is in the zone too. I would take man though to Bailey. And also I think I've been lobbing it too much. I need to bullet it slightly more on the out so I can not throw it out of bounds. Okay, it's in. Okay, here we go. Bobby Johnson. Ah, nowhere. Damn it. Well, that was the read. Just couldn't quite execute. Also, not per, not good timing. So I shouldn't say well executed. We want to wait just a little bit longer to throw that. But I felt like I didn't have time to. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Uh, let's go here. And receiver. F oh, we want strong right. So we'll go here. Yeah. Fourth and, five. and also here, I, this is such that I can actually run the play in the hopes that they're offsides, because it's a good play I have dialed up, so it's not the end of the world if I don't pick this up. I called timeout just to preserve Momo. I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, we'll just, we'll give, we'll give it the old kick here. Chicken Nug 52, welcome. Thank you. I, it's a, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a pretty reputable academic institution. That's yeah, true. I don't think you can call timeouts two plays in a row, though. But then again, I guess I don't need a timeout. Ooh. Were they a little close on blocking that? We bit. If this guy gets a hand up, it could be a different story. The kick is good. Up two scores at half. How about that? Now they get ball to start second half. So this is very important. The Skyhawks. You can? Okay. I, sw I really thought you couldn't on your... I thought I'd tried it with maybe on defense. Ooh, in the end zone. Look at Newell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Ten seconds. Let's see what we can get. Oh, yeah. Major. We, they usually teams do this to us. Cover three, everybody back. Uh, let's do Bailey back. I need a bat down, though, I think. Let's just see what they go. Okay, they run it. Okay, that's good. Cover three. Here's what we'll do, too. We'll take Newton and take him all the way back. Just so it's basically a cover four now. Okay, we're squared up. We're squared up. They might catch it. Okay, good. Look at this. Look at Bailey defending three receivers at once. That's a little frightening, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good, glad it wasn't PI. Usually you get that on user attempts, though. All right, guys, I am going to use the restroom. I'm, we're going to take a quick break. I think I'm going to run an ad just so that people who pop in after this don't have pre-rolls. But I appreciate everybody coming in. We're actually having a good game today. And, uh, yeah, as Coach Bopp noted, usually this has been quite the comeback. We were down 14 zip, and we've gone on a 31-6 to run, forcing two field goals. I think that's oh, – we, so we, we intercepted two passes, and, uh, and we've stopped them on two field goals. So it's basically like definitely two stops, kind of like four if you count the uh, field goal attempts. Anyways, I'm going to run an ad. We'll be back in just a couple minutes, guys. I am back. Yeah, the momentum too. Absolutely true. I think I'm getting better at the defense as well. I feel I also feel like mixing in the blitzes has helped quite a bit. Because my big fear about blitzing and just running man defense in general is getting burned. It hasn't happened that much relative to how how uh, relative to the positive effects of that blitz. I really haven't been getting burned that badly. And when I have gotten completions on me, I'm generally getting the tackle. It's generally not, you know, giving up huge yards or a long score. Let's check out some stats. 271 offense. Only 10 yards rushing. The 335 they run has been very tough on my running game. One sack. How about the sacks? Who would have thought that we'd be getting sacked at like 10% of the rate of the coronavirus dynasty? That is wild. Red zone looking good. No fumbles. 
I don't want to jinx it. Lot, uh, not that many fumbles in this dynasty. With all the low-rated players, both on my team and the other teams, pretty surprising. Three touchdowns for Newton. That's awesome. All three to Bailey. Hail four attempts, one yard. We just can't handle those linebackers. They get off blocks way too well. He does have a touchdown, though. He got the end zone. He got pay dirt. So look at Smith doing work over here. Where are we at? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Pass deflections, two. One pick. All right. How are we doing on... How are we doing on this stuff? Macklin's still out. We'll leave him out. We can bring him in if things get more desperate. Newton's looking pretty good. Plus seven power. Excellent. Hales plus four. Bailey plus four. Very good stuff. Yeah, that's the big part of it. Is And that's part of the design of the offense. Triple J, absolutely, that I'm trying to get the ball out quickly, especially when they blitz. It's absolutely true. And it's, it's more fun when you're not getting sacked. I mean, coronavirus dynasty, that was a lot of fun. But having a pattern of, oh, play, 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 big sack, big play, big play. I I kind of enjoy the, the slow game a bit more, to be honest, in football in general and in video games. I think it's more fun to work your way downfield for a score than just go for big play after big play. But I'm also kind of a football strategy nerd. It's really my favorite part of the game is the fact that it's, you know, strategy, play calling, matchups, things like that. It's probably my favorite part of football. Because I've never even been a big fan of things like individual players. Yeah, I do have favorite teams for sure. But I've never been like, oh, I'm obsessed with, you know, Dan Marino. Never really was. Never really was. I've always been more about, yeah, situational decisions, strategy. Like, one of the reasons I think football is such an... Oh, okay, I tried to bat that down. Nice snag. One of my favorite things about football, why I think it's such a great sport, is, is how situations vary so widely and how the decisions you make vary so greatly because of the situations. I mean, situational football is so fascinating. Oh, oh dude, he spun. He warped in, dude. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, the route this guy's running, it should be taking him out. Oh, maybe it's this guy right here. Okay, you know what? He's running this little zig out. I'm sitting on it, and then they throw it to that guy. That's too bad. We do. Well, Jay Nickel, you're playing against people, though. By the way, if you like watching competitive Madden or Dynasty Madden online against other players, check out Jay Nickel, please. It's pretty fun to watch. I would not mind a toss my way. Ooh, right here. Okay, we're there, we're there, we're there. Newton, get loose. Yeah, against humans, you want to go for bigger plays, for sure. Because you need more efficiency. Like, I sacrifice quite a bit. Actually, let's go cover three. I sacrifice quite a bit for the sake of efficiency. For the, I give up a lot of efficiency, I should say. There are a lot of things that I do that are inefficient just because they're more fun and they resemble a real football more. Second and two. Ball on the yeah, exactly, too. That two, Triple J. Uh, the, the, the swing outs do that quite a bit because they do cheat. And, and we know, like, you can only cheat so much. Newton! Oh, come on! We were there. It's okay. We'll take it. Eventually, he'll come down with those. Oh, I definitely would play differently. Yeah, I would run. I would just run deep passes a lot. I mean, rocket catching is really easy. Um, I would definitely play different against a human. Because certain things just don't work as well. Are we running a blitz here? Let's go cover three. I don't know what's happening here, though. Okay, they actually run it. Yeah, you want to run. And honestly, these are like now. Back in the day, I didn't really play that. I wasn't that good. I was okay online. I wasn't that good. I mean, I probably won like 60% of my games, but I wouldn't say I was that good. Just because a lot of strategies I used weren't really that good of strategies. Tackle, come on. Oh my gosh, the fall forward. Yeah, you want to basically pick a decent QB. You want to run a lot of uh, posts, like post routes. Corners, you can do it. You can human defend corners better. So that's not as good, but like post patterns. Basically, you want to find things that a... Uh, Oh, let's, oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, I tried to jump that. Oh, my gosh. I was a little late. I was a little late. Yeah, you just you want a good QB to where you can give your receivers good stuff to jump up and get. You want tall receivers, basically tall impact receivers. And you want to throw, uh, like, a lot of post routes, things like that. I wouldn't mind coming my way. Okay, actually, okay, that was good. 
Gain of two on the play. Second and eight. Okay, let's go cover three. We'll stick with Newton here. We might be able to lurk this tight end. They might be running it. He's in the zone. I wouldn't be surprised by QB run here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, Newton. Oh, dude, Newton hoof it out. Oh, <laughs> big, 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 big. Look at this guy. Helping his own cause. This is like when a pitcher hits a home run. <laughs> he's, he's helping his own cause. He's like, hey, I want better field position. Let's get upfield. Oh, it was this beautiful animation, and I sort of the fact that he's six five is, is is making a big difference. I'm pretty pretty sure because it, I think it makes up. He doesn't get that high off the ground. His hops aren't that good. I mean, what are his hops? Oh, freaking Newton come down with it. So that's his third pick on the year, I think. Wait, did I pass it? His jump is only sixty eight, but the fact that he's six five makes up for it. <laughs> That's a must. This guy's faster. If this guy, if if Newton was a tight end prospect, he would have been like he would have had probably like a four four forty. Oh no! Oh no! It's bad. We tried to go for the pitch. He didn't. That's okay. Yeah, I kind of have to. I kind of have to because uh, I don't have enough guys with speed. He's one of the fastest guys on the team. He only has 82 speed, but he's probably the, I would say, like, fourth fastest guy on the team. And if you look, Jay Nickel, if you look at, like, look at my corners. Look at the corners they give me. So, let's see. Lester, look at, yeah, look at, look at everybody that's actually a corner. 74 speed. Okay, this guy's a recruit. 72 speed. 74 speed. They're all super slow. Yeah, I put, I put the QB at corner because he's fast. He's got 82 speed. And also, yeah, the corner, this guy Lester, I put him at a strong safety, but look at his throw stats. He's my backup QB. He's got 74 throw accuracy, or pardon me, 74 power, 68 accuracy. And so I actually play a lot of guys both ways. My This guy, Bobby Johnson, he's my number two running back, and I run a lot of, I run a lot of two running back sets. So he's on offense a lot. And then I put Bailey at corner. He's my star receiver, obviously. Hale's my starting running back. He's my number one corner. It's just kind of out of necessity because these guys, the other guys just straight up can't move. They have no speed. They have like 68, 70 speed, stuff like that. So just for the sake. Now, Hale has not made many plays. I might need to change something up with him because really him and Bailey don't make very many plays. So I'm not sure what to do there. Also, if you'll notice, corners in general don't make many plays in this game. I've had dot corners in the coronavirus dynasty. They don't do much. Safety is way better. That's a good question, Jay Nickel. I would, I kind of feel like no. I feel like those numbers are going to help. So like punt return, yes, obviously. But I, I do too, but he's going to see way more tackles at safety. And plus uh, Lester is an actual DB. I don't want him taking that many tackles. Corner is more of a coverage. You don't tackle that many people. At least I don't think. I would just, I would just hazard a guess that Lester has way more tackles on the air than Bailey. Or let's say Hale, because I take Bailey out sometimes. I would compare Bobby Johnson and Lester to Hale. I bet Hale has like a quarter of the tackles or half. So he's valuable in coverage, but here he doesn't have to tackle as much. But yeah, the dot dot corners aren't really that valuable in this game. Okay, let's see if I can remember what play I called. Here we go. Nope. Oh, okay, let's just run it. Dude, he feels so slow. Is my A button broken? Okay, we've got the flag. I don't get it. He's probably just tired though. Let's see. Is he a little bit gray? Oh, he's very tired. Uh, I can actually sub out. Let's do this. Let's like run it one time. Let's do backup QB and just run it once. Let's give him a little bit of a rest. Bit of a waste of a play, but my dude is tired. Oh, that's interesting. I could I, I could do multiple hikes. Uh, would like more yardage on that. I might just go screen here. I hate to waste this uh, possession, though. Yeah, let's go screen and see what it looks like. Uh, I could have run a scramble play with him, yeah. Let's go with this. Okay, there are safeties back. This has high potential. It has a high bust potential, but it has overall high. It's This is kind of boom or bust because they're so bunched in the middle. Oh, set it up. Yes. Oh, get out there, Bailey. Come on, come on. Yes. 
<laughs> I love setting up these blocks. It's super fun. Look at this. I'm like pretty much dead to rights, except I just hesitate. And then my man gets out there. Oh my gosh, that worked out. Thank you. Yeah, you know what we can do? We can run, uh, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's run backup QB. And let's run PA read flow. And I can kind of run out of this. Because I can also throw a swing pass with Lester out of this as well. Okay, let's bring our man Smith up. Do they change their alignment? Not really. So let's just stick with this. I'll probably go swing pass Hale. If it looks open on the right, I'll, uh, I'll keep. I actually kind of it look open. Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, get out of bounds. He's flashing, right? Oh, he's flashing. He's flashing hard. Got kind of lucky here that I was able to outrun this guy because he kind of had me. I just ran backwards. So that could have been bad. A little bit of a cheat code. He does have a 93 speed. Also something I noticed, so before the season and before I realized I had Newton on my team, I was practicing with Lester. And I was in practice mode. And, of course, in practice mode, you go against your own defense. And my defense is so slow and bad. I uh, That's a good idea. Actually, I think I'll do that. Run one more. Um, my defense is so slow and poor. Let's see. Motion WR. I think QB slot. I think this is the one that actually works. Uh, I was able to often just scramble and straight up run for a TD pretty, pretty commonly. This looks good, actually, for Hale. Okay, they don't motion. Let's keep, actually. Yeah, we tried. I could have pitched, I guess. I don't know. Nah, he's too far back. That really wouldn't have gone anywhere. Okay, so we burned a couple of downs, getting Newton a bit of rest. He looks better. He looks better out there. Okay, our man's in the zone. Let's go at halfback circle. Second and ten. We can catch him on a comeback. Also, I because Newton is getting tired on defense, I might want to take him out for a possession on defense. So let's block Hale. His route, it's hard for that to be effective. Okay, let's go Johnson. Got to let him get upfield. There we go. Nice. And that's the kind of issue I ran into before. I threw it too soon before, and it doesn't work if you don't throw it. If you throw it in the middle, it doesn't work before or after it works well. First and ten. Exactly, Triple J. That's why I'm really glad that I can win a few games and not get fired. Just even like two more guys will mean that's two less guys I have to play both ways because I'm basically going both ways at all like DB positions. Actually, let's go hail. Oh, no. Oh, that hurt. That hurts me inside because I precision passed. I, I can't really blame myself for precision passing. It just hurts because if I didn't, it's a touchdown. I precision passed because there's a guy here. So why wouldn't I precision pass? But damn. Okay, second and ten. It's okay. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Okay, it's also important to... I actually want to play a little conservatively here. I don't want to turn over. I want a two-touchdown lead at least here. Dude, come on. I mean, that's not my precision because he had a guy closing in and it was going to give him the animation. I bulleted it, though. That was stupid. I, you know, I honestly could go... Uh, let's do this. I, I'm, I'm going to go with Lester again and join for a scramble. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. So we have Hale on this swing pass. Actually, we might look at Hale. If they blitz, I'll go Hale. Nope. Nope. Lester! Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it! This is actually close to go for it territory, man. I'll at least try to go for the offsides, but I feel like I should go... Oh, no, that's not enough for a flag. Yeah, so let's go for this here. I'm actually down to run it. It's only one yard. I'm actually down to run this play. I'm running it. Oh, there we go. Bailey, give me Bailey. Oh, bad pass. And he ran freaking nine yards backwards. Oh my gosh. And we got the flag. Offside. See, this is why this is why I call it cheese. I call Coral Flats cheese, but it's not really cheese because you get this. It really ain't opportune times. Look at that. He runs full on ten yards backwards. Full ten yards. Right? 
he's wide open. He's got the first in the bread basket. And does he even need to? Like, what's this pass look like? Okay, he does have to come back a little bit, but he doesn't need to run nine yards back. Since it's like a stumble, and then he gets up. So you can see it's actually a stumble. This isn't me. See how he's kind of pitched forward? It's a stumble recovery animation. That's not me doing it. That's not me running. And then he finally recovers, and then I, I park. <laughs> he just saw orange, man. Okay, let's hit a drag. Fitch looked pretty good before, too, over here, over here. But again, extreme caution. It'd have to be a full-on blitz, clear middle for me to go uh, Bailey here. <sighs> yeah, but I, I precision pass away. I'm actually okay with that because I don't want anybody clairvoyantly warping up and jumping it. I went outside so that he could run outside. But I should have not bulleted it. That was kind of a mistake. So let's go with the screen here. Oh, wrong formation. Second and ten. Safety back. They're not bunched up. Five two though. I'd say this has a good shot. Just depends on if we get a block out there with Phillips. Let's see. He does. Looks good. Get the corner. Get the corner, Bailey. Yes. Oh wow. I also didn't. I didn't think that was a touchdown. We'll take it though. Nice job. Nice freaking job. So does he actually get in? Oh, oh. I guess the ball gets over before his foot touches down. Yeah. Okay, there you go. It was. Nice shed. Yeah, the shed did it. We're up by eight. About to be up by 18. Wow. That's a four on the... <laughs> Dude, that was a beast. That was a beastly performance last night. Ronald Rivers. The second, Esquire. Oh, let's get Newton out of defense, at least. Oh, wait, he's not in there. This is tough. Let's actually go, let's take them both out. We're ahead by a bit. If they score, we'll go back to our standard D. Let's get Bailey out. Let's get Macklin at number two. We'll just go with actual corner dudes, I guess. We'll stick, we'll leave Hale out there, though. Hale's not that, he's not, like, super important. He kind of is, but not that bad. And he doesn't seem to get hurt. He doesn't really do much. But I like having the speed out there. Smith, okay, you're a linebacker. Hale, you're already out there. Kane, we'll go Kane there. The Skyhawks. Yeah, we have one tight end commit, Jay Nichol. I think just one, though, and we have three guys still interested. Or is it four guys interested? There's definitely one commit, though. Kickoff return, 31 yards. But again, it's, it's all tight ends that you probably remember. So no other positions, really. We'll stay with cover two because the other guys are slow. Let's try Hale, actually. Let's see what we can get. Oh, look, look at that. Dude, it's Smith again. Wow. They're throwing it right to us. This is the dot QB. So I talked about dot QB giveth, dot QB taketh. It's a lot of giveth today. We'll stick with cover two. Nice. Number 33 on the carry. Gain of four on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. We'll go cover two. I'll, I'll concede it first. It's not, it's not like, crucial to stop him here. Okay. Oh, no. That was my zone. Let's get there, though. We got... Oh, no. He's fast. Damn it. Dude, did he... Was this a major delay? What happened? What kind of route is that? Is that, like, a slant and go? I came over to guard that receiver. Freaking hell. That has to be, a, what, the sluggo? That has to be a sluggo. Those double moves get me. Damn it. Right as he cuts up fields when I vacate. Right. Up 
Okay, good. End zone. They'll start the drive we do. At the 20 -yard line. First and ten. Hopefully we get one. Oh no! Wow, the closing speed. And Hale's no slug. Hale's got 88 speed. Let's go back to Mesh. I'm still kicking myself for missing that pass to Hale earlier. Let's just run it. Actually, we could get some yards here. Look, little turn up. Gosh, dang it! Okay, I don't want to be doing that, taking huge hits with my QB there. We can just let it go to quarter as well. Let's see what they come out in. Third and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. I felt like we had to hoof it out, but maybe not. I actually kind of like this for this down distance. This isn't bad. Third and seven. Three, three, five. Everybody's deep. So if they blitz here, hail should be super open. If they don't, I'm probably running it left side. They actually do blitz. <sighs> Bailey, look at that. Oh, break one. Yes. Yes. Oh, beast mode. Pulling us out of, you know, stealing a first down out of the clutches of a fourth. Wow, this? that's awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get a drag here. Newton has kind of picked up his game. Okay, this is, we're not dragging against this. Let's try. Let's just try something else. I'm not sure what else. Memphis. Let's see what Memphis has for us. Okay, a little comeback action. This looks good. We have the dot power. Because he's in zone two, it's absolutely true. I wouldn't mind these dots to blitz and I can hit hail on the out. It's actually there. Let's go hail. Yes. Spin everybody. Oh, we tried. We actually did. We actually did spin some guys. Okay, I'm kind of feeling another uh, P.A. Reed scramble here. This actually looks pretty good for a dump off to Hale, too. Let's just see how heavily they blitz. Kind of a shifty shift there. Let's get him back here. I could even ha actually my hand off here. Yeah, this actually looks good. Oh, okay, not, not there. What happened? Oh, he peels off. Oh, this guy switches who he's blocking. Well, better hail than my QB taking a hit like that. Hail is looking a little, yeah, he's looking a little rough around the edges right now. Tight end drag. Let's go here. So we'll have Bailey deep Ball on the in the zone. Hail if they blitz. I tried to go Fitch one time with this, and I threw a pick, so that wasn't good. So I should go hail. Nah, no evasion. Third and 12. Let's just go with the screen opposite side. Let's see, is it here? That's slot. Third and 12. Let's see if we can steal another one. Okay, this is boomer bust, the way they're lined up. It's just a question, can we get a block on that or on that DB? Hale's really tired. I don't know if he'll do very well here. Look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> Reverse field. Bailey. Hoof it out, sir. You've earned it. Hoof it out. There you go, John. <laughs> that is a highlight for show. Oh, my goodness. He runs. He does another major backwards. He just runs about seven yards too far back. Newton chips in. Wow, says. <laughs> So, yeah, the dot man coming in. Then look at Newton, though. Newton, Newton pretty much makes it. He chips that guy. We have our other guy come up. Who is this? Is this like Walker or something? Oh, it's the tight end, Phillips. Walker shoves a guy in the back. Is that, That's Walker, right? That's Smith. Anyways, 
And then we just get a seal off. Lots of bad angles, I'm sure. Like, who do they have back? They don't have anybody back, so there you go. This guy's like in some kind of spy. What does he do? He just gets in a bad trail. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's comedy. Really? Do you, okay, here's the replay. Hey, Nickel. Here you go. Here you go. Screen pass. Guy gets right in, breaks the tackle, runs back about eight yards, does a loop around. Guys actually come up and get chip blocks and then get, do loop around bad uh, pursuit angles. And it's just off to the races. <laughs> it, was, it was not on dot, but I was flashy. I was flashy and he was not. <laughs> oh, that's comedy. I can't believe we're doing this thing. We're actually putting up lots of points on these guys. And I think they're a three-win team. I don't think they're bad. We'll have to check on that. We'll have to fact-check that. But uh, I, I don't think Memphis is bad on the record. Yeah, they're C minus. I meant their record though. Like, I you know it doesn't really matter. It's all about the ratings and who they have. But I think their record was like three and three. I think they were really close to us. Wait, who who's the dot there? Oh, Macklin. Okay. So Macklin's at number one corner, not Hill, huh? What's going on there? Where's? Oh, I didn't know what I called there. Macklin Hagen. Kane. I don't know what that's about. Uh, who? Okay. Darn it. We're just running back here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get a tackle. Okay, got a tackle. Is Hale hurt or something, or did I take him out? I, oh, he's probably tired. Yeah, he's not on here. He's just tired. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Yeah, we'll go cover two. Okay, I need to stay in my lane, too. I can't run over like I did before on the other cover, too. That was really bad. Okay, we're there. Number 33 with the reception. Gain of eight. On and at this point, we can afford to let him dink and dunk. I mean, we didn't want to give up that big play, but we're okay to just play zone and get tackles. Oh, dang it. Well, we gave up a touchdown in three plays. I think that's about the same as last drive. Oh, my goodness. They're going for two. I'm kind of inclined to stick with a, uh, a blitz here. Lester, let's actually flip that. You guys all come up. So we're on a fullback. We can just guard the end zone then. They have a running back, actually. Oh, I'll get there. Darn it. Okay, who's covered? Hmm. We're only up 10. We have to keep up, man. God, our defense is really getting burned right now. Uh, I'll call I'll call onside. Okay, they're not onsiding. All right, we got to... I guess we need to... Uh, well, for sure run some clock, right? But we got to move the ball. We're, we're giving up way too much. Way too many big plays on defense. I mean, maybe I need to get my other guys back in there. We'll go option pass. Kind of looking to run here. We still have momentum. Okay, they're coming up. Okay, we can't run against this. The guy, they brought those guys up to the edge, so it's really, just really not an option. Hail. Okay, I would like to go hail here. Actually, let's go Bailey. Oh, you know what? I thought he was doing a comeback. It's okay. We got this. We got this. Yes. Yeah, we'll decline that. I kind of want to go. I, I would have gone hail if I thought uh, Bailey was doing a comeback, though. Then I realized, oh, he's running a streak. But no deep safety, so we got that. We needed that. Yes, we will run some clock. Actually, let's go back to, uh, we'll go back to Lester a bit here. This looks really good for a dump off to hail. I imagine they're going to blitz. Fan the line a bit. We can run with this. Yep. Well, angle. And the slide. Like a pro. <laughs> so here we're kind of looking to ISO Bailey on man. 
We can also lob to Phillips. Let's see what these linebackers do. So let's block. Actually, we don't need to block anybody. Actually, look at Phillips. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay, flag. I didn't put enough air under it. I guess I should have lobbed it. I just, I never run this, so I was kind of just frozen. I didn't really know what to do. I did have Bailey, yeah, I did have Bailey in man, it's true. I kind of blew that. Fitch outside, okay, I didn't anticipate that. Look at Phillips. Oh, set him down. No! No, oh, no! Okay, thank goodness. Dude, we're getting gifts right now. Let's run PA Reed. I wouldn't mind running it still here. I know, we got lucky. We got really lucky. How are we on the left hash all of a sudden? Is that some kind of glitch? That's weird. Yes. Hail! Oh, let's go. Nice. Yeah, scrambling is more of an option. In fact, let's go to Lester. Thank you. Yeah, so it looks like when we have momentum, our linemen do hold blocks a little bit better. Okay, let's watch what this linebacker does. I'll hand off if it looks like he's running away from the handoff direction. He did. Oh, yes! Excellent. Two touchdowns for Hale. He deserves it. He's been a workhorse all season. Oh, sorry. I was more focused on... I, you're right about bleeding the clock. I was more focused on getting the play right. Ooh, our offense is really keeping up. This is nice. But also, a lot of it has to do with their secondary is not good. Their corners are bad. They match up terribly with Bailey. And I've been able to, they, they bunch their guys up around the line so much, their front seven. I've been able to just get go away from wherever their dot linebackers are. So the dot linebackers have not been a huge factor at all. Oh no, okay. Wait, Hale's back in, right? Hale's back. So, yeah, we'll stick with this. Let's actually run. We, maybe we could try using Smith. I don't know. Okay, it's okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Get on it. <laughs> yes. Bobby Johnson, get loose. Let's freaking go. He might, he might not, he might have been down. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, wait. Hand, hand, where does it like, where does the movement of the ball start to separate from the hand? Like, there, I really don't know. Let's just try to run a play really quickly, though. They'll take over at the 45 yard line. First and 10. So you give him carry as a, uh, Incentive, for, or, you know, a reward for for coming up with that fumble. We'll give him a carry. Second and seven. Yeah, exactly. That's Ball what I was looking for. Forty-two yard line. Interesting. Let's drag out. So we'll go for the uh, toss to, or the yeah the pitch to Hale. I don't know. At least that wasn't backwards. Pretty close though. So he got hung up. Too bad. I need to bleed clock though. Let's see. Let's actually go. Let's go for a two back. Let's actually. I think I might go for PA Reed and just look to run here. Okay, we're up 17. That's three scores. Look at this. Fitch in the zone. I'm kind of thinking actually lob. Uh, let's block Phillips. Hail. Oh no, dude. I mean, you can't blame me for for throwing that one, right? Let's give him a farther field. That's too bad. Waste of a possession, but 
At least we can get him in worse field position now. This should be actually down. Dude, what a terrible punt. I guess I needed to aim that down more. I just, I'm always surprised by how poorly he kicks it. Okay, Macklin will play, we just got to play way back with Macklin because he has a lack of speed. It's true. No, I, I forget about that. Okay, that's good. Run clock. Or just let him get 20 yards. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I kind of have to call that. They've been eating up my cover two. Oh, we'll go cover two. So we have Lester, Bobby Johnson. Yeah, we got this. We, we'll be okay. Okay, we're there. Yes, okay, no first. I'm happy with no first. We will definitely take that. Okay, cover two. Yep. We're just playing back right now. Oh my goodness. Couldn't even get a bat. I went for the bat down legit too. Oh my gosh, they scored in two plays. I went for the bat down. I should have gone for the box out pick, I guess. But I'm like, I don't want to go for the pick. I want to go for the bat down, but I'm in front of him. That's the 6'8 guy. Dude, I... I mean, I misplayed that. I shouldn't be too upset. I did misplay it by not going for the box out. I should have gone for the box out. Okay, this is, I think, onside for them. Yep. How about this? Who, who thought that we would be... Who thought that our opponent would be kicking... In? Raise your hand if you thought an opponent would be doing an onside kick against Space Force in Season 1. Are there any hands up? Mine is not up. No, I'll get it. Okay, good. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. I, how close was that? <laughs> that was actually pretty darn close. That was closer than I thought it would be. He did recover it too. Wow. Oh, they get another try. Damn it. Memphis I don't think they do that on purpose, by the way. I think it's kind of random. I would be surprised if he did the same exact kick. Okay. Pitch go down. Nice. The Skyhawks recovers the onside kick. Yeah, let's just go with a scramble or something here. Hand off. No dots out. Okay, this is this is something I mentioned when we were pre-scouting Memphis, and this is I think the first time it's happened. Their dots are both outside linebackers, and so neither of them are on the field right now. Let's actually go here. I might just scramble with Lester here. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go the other way, like this. There we go. There we go. Second and five. Ball yeah, so this is run, run, punt. Or, you know, run, 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 punt. <laughs> Look at this, they move over. So this looks, this looks great for Hale to hand it off. Their DN over there is pretty red, too, so hopefully my left tackle can hold up against him, okay? Okay, I had to do that because they went off. Ooh, popped. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I think it's... Oh, they still have two timeouts, so we still got to run. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm talking because it's the end of the game. We need to run clock. <laughs> Very nice. Five yards. This is the time to feed Hale, man. I think there's a breed out of this one, too. QB option give. I would like to run that, but I don't think they do it right. I don't think you can hand off very well. And five. Ball on the 26 yard this actually might be a dump off to Hale. Yeah, I think I might dump off. Yep. Okay, executed well. Okay, lost yardage. Number 47 on the tackle. Loss of two on the play. So let's.
go with uh, we'll go option pass and just hand it off. Third and seven. God, we're not. I'm gonna go ahead and hand off. I don't I don't want anybody to get hurt like Newton. We don't need that. Oh no. Okay, good. Okay, we'll get our field goal. Right. Ooh, this is a longer one. I think we're good for it though. Our kicker's he was pretty juiced last I looked. Yeah, plus twenty one. 89 kick pow. He's good for this. This is a 47. Fourth and nine. Ball yeah, on we're good. Thank you. Line. Oh, this would be a good time to go for the abort. Rep 10. I could go for the abort here with Lester. I could try it. I could go for the abort and just run right to sprint. He's got 93 speed. Should I try it? It might work. I mean, I'm up 10. I'm up two scores already. I mean, being up 10 versus 13 is not a big difference at this point. Yeah, it's still two scores. I think I might try it. Because I feel like here they're going to go for an all-out block. And actually, if they do... Oh, let's look real quick. I got 14 seconds. So Y or B. I think I might try it. The only thing that would really screw me is if somehow they make me fumble and they run it back for a touchdown. But that's kind of a that's a danger on any play except a punt <laughs> or a field goal. I might try it. I'm a little nervous, honestly. I think I might try it though. I think I'm gonna try it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's true. It's true. If I see him pop back, okay, here we go. Oh, it resets it. Okay. Oh, go! Go, Lester! <laughs> yes! Well, it's good to know we got that one in our back pocket. <laughs> I mean, they just don't... They don't defend scrambles that well. This guy's just... He's guarding the pass. <laughs> also, QBs usually don't have uh, 93 speed either. And I don't really get any good receivers going. I only have one guy that really runs. And I could have thrown it to him. Oh, he's wide open, actually. He's wide the hell open. I might have to use this more often. I mean, it's so risky, though, because I'm basically giving up a score. To me, it's a greater risk than the punt, because the punt is easy because you know what they're in. So they only rush four. But look at, look at Hale get downfield. I could have lobbed that to him. So I'm thinking this is zone. I think this is, like, safe zone. Any any uh, inclinations, Triple J? I'm thinking this is like a safe zone. I kind of actually don't think it does. Not field goal. Second and eleven. Yeah, that's what I thought. And actually, I'll kick a field goal here too so I don't mess up my red zone stats. Third and 13. Ball on the 21 yard line. Space Force, what a game. We came back on someone in the first half. Asterisk there, because we have come back on people in the second half as well. Uh, I saw your, you know, I saw your comment right at the end there. The kick is oh, look at this. This guy got hurt. He's still laying there. You see him? Do you see my guy laying there on the ground while Newton runs out celebrating? Do you see that? <laughs> Sacrificing yourself for the memes. Did you see that? You saw that on Triple J. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, the fake kick play. So here's the thing. If you call the fake kick, they don't come out in the field goal defense. <laughs> the Justin Turner. It was the Justin Turner. That's comedy. 
Yeah, if, if I call a field goal there and not fourth down, they won't come out in a field goal D, so it's kind of moot. They really are. That was one of them, too. This guy just laying there and during the celebration. My head. How is he? We're laughing. He might have, like, a concussion or something. Uh, we, we can't see, I guess. Hold on. What position? He's out for the game. Okay, so thankfully it's just the game. Yeah, we really did. I need to get back on the highlight, uh, cutting the highlights, because... I've been kind of lax on it. I've only been doing like one or two games a week. I should be doing it every time because I'm kind of getting buried. With the kicker? Or who? Or Young? Change angle, okay. Oh, he does. He kind of shifts which leg is poked out. He does that thing. <laughs> no, you're right. You're totally right. That's like when a, a mom picks up a little toddler to go to sleep, and they pretend to be asleep, and then they shift their head on the mom's shoulder so it's more comfy. He's like, oh, I'm hurt. Uh, switch legs. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Let's look at some stats. 503 offense. They actually outgained us because they kept chucking bombs at the end and completing them. 463 passing, so we didn't defend that very well, but we were ahead. We boat raced them. Two sacks, 6 of 13, third down, which was pretty good. Their third down is good, too, but they threw three picks. That's wild. They only punted once, but turned it over a few times, so that's good. So we had a, what, a fumble lost. We didn't even lose a fumble. I thought we, I thought we fumbled it. I guess they had the fumble. This is a pretty offensive heavy game. 25 of 41, 424. That's a great stat line by Newton. Really, really good. It did not look good early on. He was, his passes were terrible. Ah, there you go. Yep, that's right. Forgot. Hale getting in on the action. That's probably the most rushing action he's seen. Definitely the touchdowns, but 11 or carries. Usually Newton has the most. I didn't have a lot of scramble opportunities today. Yes, thank you. That's right. They, their zone they're in, I was not able to get outside the box. Also, Newton, for some reason, seemed extra tired. I think I did play him on off on defense, though, pardon me, uh, instead of uh, Bailey, though, right? So maybe that's why he was more tired. So I might have to get away from that and only play Newton, have Newton be the sub and not the standard guy in there. Bailey doing his thing once again. Five touchdowns. What a beast. No drops. He's got, like, 25 drops on the air. So it's nice to see no drops. But also, again, their secondary was not good at all. Their secondary was really bad. Macklin doing big things. D. Smith, player of the game on defense for sure. Three deflections, a pick, and one of his other deflections resulted in a pick. Three picks. Newton coming up with another pick. So, very fun game. So, how did they do? They did really well. Four, four, three. Okay, he threw three picks, so that's good. For us, not good for them. Running was okay, but they were behind. They didn't run a lot, at least later on. Maurice Jones. They spread it around quite well. 6'5", six, 6'8", six, didn't do a lot. 5 for 88, well, that's pretty good. Two touchdowns. This is a good game. And it's nice that we got a few stops on D. We kept consistent offense going on our side. That was key. Let's see if we got any recruits. So they're three and seven. So they're three and six. So I guess the record's not that good. We we have a winning record now. We're four and three, right? Yeah, five and four. We're five and four. So here's the thing about one more win. One of our last three games is against Northern Arizona. I don't know if that counts in this game toward a bowl game. Plus, we already one of our wins is already against a 1AA. So we have a 1AA win. We're about to have two 1AA wins, hopefully. I don't know if that counts for a bowl game in this game. In real life, in this time of the year, or excuse me, in this time period, it would not count. It used to be those games didn't count toward bowl eligibility. And I think after the App State win over Michigan, they made it to where they do count. 
So it actually might have to be one of these two. And it used to also be you have to have a winning record as well. Let's see if there are any bull projections. No bull projections yet. Bailey, Space Force still doing strongly. Rashawn Grant. One hundred forty-two catches, twenty-three hundred yards, <laughs> eleven carries, and on defense he has a forced fumble, nine pass deflections, and a. I thought I had a punt return touchdown. Oh, that's punting. There we go. Oh, good question. Yep, again. Two, three. So he's got three national players of the week. What about CUSA? CUSA, he has... Oh, Chris Johnson. He's in the game. One, two, three, four. So four players of the week. We do have award semifinalists. I feel like Newton should be up for some quarterback awards. Maxwell, that's best overall offensive, right? So we're not quite there. How is he not on the list? His stats have to be off the charts. Let's go through the rest of these. I want to check out the stats. Best receiver, yeah, we're looking good. Tight end, not going to happen. OL, definitely not. Remington, nope. 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 Probably not. We're not in the Groza. Oh, we missed one field goal. And we've probably only kicked like 10 this year anyway. Punter, definitely not. He kicks 20 yarders. How, I'm not in my, well, my record's not that good. All right, let's check out some passing stats and just see how we stack up. Actually, I think I'm going to end the video here. Well, well, we'll leave it on here. Does that matter, though? I mean, I'm throwing for like 500 yards every week. I have to be top five, at least, national passing. Number two. Rating, I'm not very high, though. Okay, that's the thing. Rating is not that good. I'm pretty far down for rating. Oh, touchdowns aren't that high. Look at that. Only 28. How about attempts? I have by far the most attempts in the country, so that's part of it. Oh, we'll check that too, Triple J. Thank you. We'll check that. Yeah, so my efficiency is not good. I've thrown the third most picks. Also, yeah, my average per, uh, per attempt is not that great. Sack's not that bad. So there you go. That, that kind of explains it. Kyle Bell. I remember him, actually, in the game. He's pretty good. I remember him because he's a white running back. Beanie Wells. Oh, yeah, he turns out to be a beast in this game. Not that good in real life. Chris Johnson, of course, quite good in real life. Let's check out the coach report card. Job security, it's ticking up. Of course you won. You had a game plan and stuck with it. Yeah. Winning season's checked off. How's that checked off? Oh, I guess it's because we have a winning record. Because we could still have a losing record, uh, losing season. But anyway, I feel like we're looking good to not get fired, at least. Space coach. I love space coach. I think that'll do it. Oh, let's see. Oh, we didn't get our commits. Oh, no, we did. We did. Did we? I guess we did. So we have three tight ends. Four eight, four six nine, four or excuse me, a five flat. Visit time, Northern Arizona, and let's see, we'll just go with academics. All right. INT. So we had what twenty picks? I mean, we can just look here rather than go to the other screen. Uh, 
28 touchdowns, 20 picks. Our, our, our TDs are fairly low. Other guys have like 35 touchdowns. I like that positive rushing yards. That's nice. That's very nice. And then on defense, of course, the three picks. Two pass deflections. Making noise on the other side of the ball. I think the development is next game. We'll have a development cycle. Macklin's only a junior. That's nice. Honestly, I might dot Macklin. Like if if there was a defender heads and shoulders head and shoulders above Macklin, I might dot Macklin just to keep the dot on him because I feel like it keeps him viable. I mean, what's he got? Five picks? Oh, three picks? Oh yeah, I was gonna look at Hale. What does Hale have for tackles? I bet he's got like nine. Okay, he's got 19, and then I, was, I wanted to compare that to Lester. Of course, I manual Lester a lot more. See, he's got 46 tackles. So corners don't get a lot more action. That's why I play Bailey at corner and not safety. I think it's asking too much to put him at safety. Or it's asking, like, an unnecessary amount that's not quite worth it. That's going to do it, guys. I'm going to stop the video here. I'll look for someone to host right now on Twitch. I know that uh, Wonder Soul is streaming, so we'll see if he's, he's still streaming. But anyway, on YouTube, we'll see you next time with Northern Arizona. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then probably this weekend. So take care.